Now, when the clock struck midnight, ushering in the new year 2016, many Kenyans took to social media platforms to declare the individual New Year's resolutions. And as many begin to warm up to the new year, KTN's Timothy Otieno caught up with one entrepreneur who says his New Year's resolution risks being sabotaged if the current economic situation in the country persists into the new year. The dawn of a new year saw many Kenyans celebrating the country after a year that had seen hard economic times and corruption scandals that had threatened the very fabric upon which the country's growth depended. And while most entrepreneurs chose to keep their businesses closed within Nairobi's central business district, businessman John Wahome defiantly remains open, choosing not to rest on this public holiday but rather earn a few shillings while ushering in a new year. Na hii mwaka inye imeisha, imekua na charges mingi kibiashala, unapata mabwe ya dola vile likuwa, dola imekua imekipada sana, sila mtu likuwa tukisawaya dola vile likuwa night, kisa dola imekuja, wanotu. The 32-year-old has been selling electronic devices at this shop on Nairobi's Tomboya streets for two years now. He says that 2015 saw its fair share of economic difficulties that had him often almost close shop. But he chooses to remain adamant, hopeful that the tides will change in 2016. The trader believes that the country's political leaders' discussion will shift from the accusatory tone seen in 2015 to one of development. Sisi tunashagua watusaidie. Baada ya kutumia muda mingi sana na mambo ya siasa, wametumia hiyo muda mingi kuinua ushumi yetu. Sentiments that most agree on. The corruption has taken a good part, a big part that makes the common people are suffering. You see like now I have the family. If you come in town with this small family like this, you need to spend not less than 1500. That is the highest amount which is not good in the economy of Kenya that they say is, is growing by 5.8%. So we are in a difficult moment in Kenya. Wahome winds up the day with a brief scrutiny of the day's sales. The city remains deserted since it's a holiday and therefore not much to smile about for Wahome as sales remain low. But tomorrow could yield better results, hopefully. Most Kenyans remain hopeful that 2016 will be a far much better year than 2015, especially politically and economically. And for traders such as John Wahome, he hopes that by the time we reach December 2016, the economic gains made by the country will be those that trickle right down to the common man. Timothy Otieno, KTN News, Nairobi.